And I guess we're about started here. Uh, I'm uh, certainly I'm recording and we're live on Facebook and uh, we're all okay. And I think we're going and we're, uh, let me just make sure we're, we're over here uh, so that I can see that we're on uh, going out on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm sure it is true. There we go. Yeah, they're going out live on Facebook. Hello, everybody. This is our uh, Monday get together with just a bunch of friends and we just like to have a nice time. Oh, there are a ton of them waiting here too, including Mandy's here as well. Let's see here. Admit all. Here they go. They're all joining now. There's Mandy, and there's Rick, and there's Charlie, and there's Andrew, and there's Len LaFrisco. Uh, yeah. And uh, let me see here. Oh, I got to add uh, Steve Bender. Admit Steve Bender. He's going to be added to the group here. Uh, and, uh, hello, Shecky. How are you? I'm fine. I got yeah. nothing. Yeah. Is that your new <laughs> iPad you're doing this from? What? Is that your new iPad you're doing this from? No, I'm breaking it in. So it's still the old one. Oh, cause it probably would have a better camera than this one even. Oh, would have a much better camera. So that'll be next week. That'll be next week. Which one did you get? The iPad 4. The iPad 4. Now that's not the Pro. The Air. Huh? The yeah, iPad Air 4. Oh, Air 4. So uh, how many yeah. does go for? About five ninety nine or something, I think. Well, no, I got 256 gigabytes. I got um, yeah. Wi-Fi and cellular. Yeah. So by the time I was done, it was about 800 bucks. Okay, that's fine. That's good, you know. Well, Amazon had it at, what was it? It was 3% less than Apple and then I got a 5% rebate for using my Amazon card. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Hey, hello, Mandy. Uh, are you, are you have to keep quiet today? Is there somebody in there with you? There's nobody in here, but I'll talk quietly. Oh, okay. Thanks, <laughs> Brad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God forbid. Uh, let me see. Okay. Here, here comes Marjorie. But I have my own Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying I had my ears pierced. Oh, Y'all can talk as loud as you want. Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. There's somebody you can. So you can talk as loud as you want. I can talk as loud as I want. Oh, okay. I, I hey, Mandy. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you can't talk as loud as you want. I'm just turning down the volume. There we go. Hello, Scott Boddicker. Hello, Charlie Wallace. Hello, Andrew Deutsch. Hello, hey. Lynn Rufrisco. Hello, Steve Bender. <laughs> Hello, Marjorie Myler. Is that Myler. Myler. <laughs> Myler. Is that good, a good Amish name. Nice. Look at what I got here on my hand here. Hey, can you see that? A thumb? No. Oh, yeah. A band-aid? I got the newest COVID shot. They do it in your wrist. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I... Uh, You're such a baby. What do you mean I'm such a baby? <laughs> I'm sorry the band-aid didn't really have little clowns and balloons on it. <laughs> yeah, it. Well, what happened was my hand has been killing me because I it got some, I guess, I, it turns out arthritis in there. It's called arthritis, Alex. Yeah, yeah but they, it's very, he told me it's very common for people to get... Of your like, age. No, right. right <laughs> <in here>. Yes. <laughs> so I had this shot once before, and it was just like I remembered it. It is the most hellacious pain. Oh, it is not. I've had the same shot just two weeks ago. But yeah. you're, you're so used to it. Plus, you shoot yourself up. That's for allergies. That's yeah. different. She has more needles in her, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I had to get, uh, I have arthritis here. So they put cortisone in there. And I've had it before. And it, it really clears it up for a couple of years. But no. man, it hurts. It oh, hurts. it hurts. <laughs> Poor baby. Marjorie is so sassy today. Uh, yeah, she, you know, she lives to go to the doctor. It's like her social calendar. Well, what doctor am I seeing this week? Oh, I'm seeing three of them this week. Am I and your right? point is? My, my point is, I think you see way too many doctors. You see enough of them. Somebody's going to say you're dying. My social life. <laughs> your social life? Is that the extent of it? Pretty much. Yeah. Just, um, just to but, just to be clear, none of them are named Kavorkin, right? No. <laughs> Has anybody here ever had a a, 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 a a what do you call it? What is this cortisone shot? Oh. Cortisone. 
But they they just really. I remember the last time I got one. They really hurt. I mean, I don't usually go ouch. Okay. Where's my I'm violin? Going oh. Ah, <laughs> ah. What do you mean? Just because you love your cortisone shots, they get rid of pain. Yeah. No, I get a lot of them. I have to admit, I do have a lot of them, but they get rid of the fucking pain. <laughs> yeah, but now you're ninety percent cortisone. You know, they pump you up. If you could make, make her ninety-four percent silicone, then uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. No complaints from this end. That's not fun either. You know. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so how are you all doing? It's been a week since we've talked last. Uh, are we all? Uh, yes, you, Mandy. Just want to report about how my vaccine went. Yeah. How did oh, you please. I was very surprised that I actually had symptoms but I was just slept all day Saturday but other than that I was okay I think I kind of got sick Friday night felt like feverish but and then just I can't believe how much I slept it was crazy oh, just how sleepy it makes you yeah Can we show you my day after picture that Alex took <laughs> <laughs> that was me yeah yeah I, I, well I mean I didn't have that much of a problem do you have any problems Shecky no you didn't well I told you I had like 101 the next night, just went to sleep, and I was 98.6 the next morning. Right. Yeah, I had about 100 on the day after, and then the next morning, yeah. 98.6. No so. one should be frightened about the par- prospects. Yeah. Of this. Here's me now. the day after. Alex took the shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it, uh, it even makes you all he's there somewhere. What made it interesting to me is it literally was like a switch, because... I was sleeping all day. I'd wake up for like 15 minutes and I'd go right back to sleep. It's like I was on a drug. But I was by like, dead. By like 11 o'clock on Saturday night, all of a sudden I was just like, I'm going to get up and take a shower. And I just felt completely normal. It was like yeah. my, body, my body was just <laughs> like, you okay? Took me a few more days. I, I yeah. felt completely normal from the whole uh, COVID thing. And I said, I don't have to take a shower. That's my normal for the, for the COVID. <laughs> you know, they found, they found that people uh, during COVID, on the average, have only taken a shower once a week. I, I saw that. Yes. That's crazy. That is crazy. Well, I mean, I find I go a week and I go, wait a minute, I didn't. Works for you, Alex. Monday yeah. is my day for a shower. Yeah. Uh, I take a shower every single day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did too. Every day, I, every day. I used I, to. I used to as well. <laughs> and when I got up in the morning to go do the show, I would take a shower, and that would wake me up. Or sometimes you mm. did it the night before. No, but most of the time I would do it before I went to work, or the night before, or whatever. But I would always shower. But the thing is, once COVID came along and I had no job, you just don't think about the shower ritual. You know. Well, if you're not leaving the house. What's the point? And nobody How dirty you getting. And no, exactly. exactly. And nobody's smelling you. Right. My point exactly. <laughs> I mean, after about a week, I say to her, you're getting a little game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I uh, you know, I uh and and I I change my underpants every other day because you know, those get, <laughs> every other day. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, you don't, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you need well, to you know, what, you know what I don't do? Here's what I do. I now hide my socks because I want, I want to get two, three days out of a pair of socks. Okay? Because, I mean, it's not much. That as soon as I see them, they're in the hamper. As soon as she sees them in the morning, they go in the hamper. So what I do every night now is I hide them so she can't find them. Okay. That's what our That's marriage has it. become. This is this is marriage, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody enjoy. <laughs> yeah. We we just have the servants draw the bath and take care of the laundry. Yeah, uh, yeah, right, right, right. Uh, what new theories are you uh, working on for the future? What do you mean? What new theories? You know, I don't know. Well, my other my, one of the biggest theories I use your have, razor all the time. And I said this to uh, oh, show them your haircut, Alex. Yeah. Oh, a haircut this weekend. <laughs> wow. And no tip. <laughs> no. 
No tip. And she doesn't mean that in a sexual manner. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't get that. Can you explain it to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm telling you. I mean, it's it's just what, only five people are watching us. What? <laughs> Well, I enjoy this gathering so much that I don't care if there's only one person listening. I, I agree. Yeah. This is my time with you guys. In fact, I should just mm -hmm. turn off the Facebook feed altogether. And yeah, just do a private Zoom. Yeah, do a private thing. This is, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a great bunch of people here. I love this. I agree. Well, I don't know if he's one of the five. A certain friend of ours told me he's bringing holy water over to the house next time he visits. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Tony is yeah. bringing over holy water. To you? His mother left a lot of holy water in the to house. Who, his mother left a lot of holy water in the house. Oh. Right. So for once some it reason, leaves the church is it, wait a minute, Once it leaves the church, is it still holy water? Yes. I have no idea. Yes. How do you really? Yes. Yes. Scott Bob yes. is the practicing yes. Catholic. Always here. holy. Yeah, I'm he's kidding. practicing Catholic and he's going to keep doing it till he gets it right. How do you yep. get holes in water? Doesn't it just fill in every time you? <laughs> Jackie, let me, let me Jackie, ask you about this, Scott. Bring you holy water. What are you to do with it? I have absolutely no idea. You can, Ow, it, you it can, burns. It burns. Ow. Well, let me. I'm doing exorcisms. Let yeah. me ask Scott this. Let me ask Scott this because Scott's the practicing Catholic, and I said he's going to do it till he gets it right. And <laughs> and and Scott. The holy water is what kind of where do they get the water from? Is it the sink. Spiritual water? Ah. Is it distilled water? In the bathtub. Is it, what is it? I, I really don't know where it comes from. It's only I, special it's because water it's that's consecrated. Been, yeah, it's been blessed, blessed, blessed by a priest. That's it's all. Been yeah. blessed, yeah. By, blessed a priest. by a priest. So that's it's regular of, water that's been consecrated. Yeah. That's kind of like nothing is kosher until a rabbi says it's sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right? exactly. Yeah. I think there's a guy in Brooklyn. He's a plumber, and he does this. <laughs> you know, but I just wonder. You know, I mean, is he it they, 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 could they could they, take, could they take toilet water, put it in there, and bless it? Yes, yes sure. they could. Yeah, it could. Okay, I'm just uh, probably I mean, these are things I don't. As a Jew, I'm oblivious to this. And somebody asked, "What do you do with the holy water?" Mm -hmm. I, I think we're checking. It, it goes great with scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's like bourbon and brand. Yeah. Well, yeah, you look upon drinking as a blessing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And why not? Yeah. So when when you pee, does it, is the holy water coming out? How does that work? Can you reuse it? Comes out of a hole. Is it recyclable? Yeah. Can you but anyway, it? so why is he bringing you his money? I have no holy idea. Water? He did not respond to his email about this twenty minutes ago. <clears throat> Really, I'm bringing you it was like, water. Okay, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Pretty funny. When he brings it over, say, put it in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, what is it? I'm gonna put it in the scotch. <laughs> <laughs> well, put I don't know. Top, put it in the top of the toilet. I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch it. You don't know where those priest's hands have been. Uh. <laughs> now watch out we have scott here he is a he, he you go what every day right pretty much yes pretty much every day yeah i wow, missed last saturday because it was a uh, the girls were taking uh my wife out for an early mother's day brunch so oh so that for uh, that for uh, for goes going to church yeah well <laughs> <laughs> Got to be the family thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what is this? Do you go every day out of habit? That I mean, this was something you did when you were a kid, or is this just something in recent years that you've adopted because you wanted? I, to I started it? doing it about um, in 2013. Yeah, it's been about eight years of it. And what made? Oh, so it's a recent thing. Yeah. What? What, what wow. made? Well, I mean, he's always been a Catholic, but what? What made you suddenly decide to go every day? Uh I guess I was uh, just, I needed to develop a better liking of people, a better base, better being just a better person, just being a better person. Wow. That's kind of an asshole early and, on. Wait a minute. I mean, you couldn't do that on your own? Oh, I probably could have, but it, you know, 
doesn't hurt to help. Plus, I'm an asshole, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I embrace my assholiness. <laughs> and you notice well, I say holiness. Yeah. <laughs> you know. yeah. But so did it help you? Do you think it helped? Oh, I think it's helped a lot. I mean, okay. it, it, another, another thing to help is not getting to having to talk to Phil a lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that can uh, that, that can make you mad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. You know what you could do for your ass holiness, Alex, is you could do a holy water enema. <laughs> <laughs> It burns, it burns, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what he injected in my hand today. I don't know. Man, this was just, this was, I know. I'm, oh my God, I'm, here hey we God, go again. Terrible. I get it. <laughs> Here's the bottom. Every time she feels she has something that hurts her, she goes and gets one of these cortisone shots for it. Just in case. You know, uh, but I mean, come on. I'm, I got this once before and it works. I mean, it does work. This will feel better after you, you you're agreeing charlie have you had them i've had them many times me too you know, not once has it hurt more than the pain it got rid of thank oh, you well see this baby this is. hurt more than the pain it got rid of you see what a baby is oh shut up <laughs> <laughs> all right you two <laughs> Gee, we're gonna have a family fight here on the air the zoom hey do we need to turn this car out. around time out goes mandy she's He's our umpire. Here. Time out. Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> Thank you. We have to turn this car around, young man. <laughs> so anybody here been doing anything interesting? I mean, now that COVID is kind of being abated a bit. You watched the snow out. yesterday. Huh? I watched snow? the snow yesterday. Really? You watched what show? Wow. Really? Oh, you watched the snow? Yeah. It was that snowing? Was yeah, it was crazy. Really? You're in wow. Cleveland, right? It's May. Yeah. So when hell freezes over, I guess I know where I live now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't think I don't think we got very much snow here this year, did we? No. Uh, but we got a lot inches. of cold. Okay. We got a lot of cold. What What did you say, Rick? We had twenty inches one day. Did we? I don't know. Yeah. One day time. that, like two hours later, the sun came out and it melted. And it melted. Yeah, I know, but I remember you you were complaining about it out in uh, out in Queens because well, because my snowblower theoretically can only do twelve inch, and it was twenty. So my neighbor came over with his big with Betsy. His, and with did his it. twenty inch snowblower, does he brag about he has a twenty inch <laughs> snowblower where yours is only a twelve inch? It doesn't snowblower. brag, but it self propels itself. Oh, I really? think any blower that can handle twelve inches should be able to brag. <laughs> um you remember how we were having the discussion about candles not too long ago about the crazy candles yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. all of a sudden like i think it was last night i got an ad on my facebook feed for a candle and it was let's do coke in the bathroom <laughs> like what? Oh, did that have a smell let's do coke in the bathroom <laughs> what what, I have a let's, do in the let's do coke in the bathroom. Yeah, that's the name of the candle. That's like let's the print smell. out. What's wow. begin with coke doesn't. And it was on my Facebook page. No, the like, smell wow, of that, that smell would seem that to be new bathroom. Is right? Paltrow um, concoction? Yeah, I mean, if you put enough, I guess if you put enough of that stuff up your nose, you can't smell the coke. But yeah, you know, I mean, um, I don't think coke has a smell to it. I don't think it, it does either. And we're experts. <laughs> yeah. When, when was the last time you ever did coke, Marjorie? Marjorie? I hear you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was last Thursday. On it now. I, I haven't, I, I, did, I think the last time I ever did it was uh, 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 when I left San Francisco, before I left San Francisco. I think mine was 1985, maybe, 84, 85. 1985, and you and I came out here together where in 2003, I think it was, when we drove. No, it was, we <clears throat> came out. Oh, yeah, you were still out there when 9-11 happened. So, yeah, so it was after yeah, that. 2003, something like that. But and we weren't I think doing I drugs. Quit five years before that, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. I had some Diet Coke over the weekend. Hmm. 
You know, was it blessed by a rabbi? I haven't been doing diet. Coke. I had the rabbi pee on the can to make sure it was kosher. I haven't been diet coke because circumcised the lid too. I've been doing this stuff, which is this uh, Kirkland sparkling seltzer in flavors mm. and uh, no sugar, zero calories, and uh, it's terrific, you know. And so I don't feel I need uh, Coca Cola. And then if the only trouble with the Coca Cola is is that it it does have caffeine in it, which helps me stay awake. <laughs> Actually, over the weekend was the anniversary of the creation of Coca Cola. Does it really? Wow. Only Shecky would know that. The creator. What do you mean? Back in Pember Pemberton invented it, right? I don't remember. It was some guy in Georgia. Is yeah, this was, uh, Pemberton was his name, and he had a pharmacy. Yeah, and like he, and he made 1886, this, I think. He made this concoction for headaches. Yeah. And didn't it have coke in it? Yes, it had, had real cocaine. Where the name came from. Real stuff. Yeah. Cocaine. It had cocaine. Yeah. It had cocaine for a couple of years, I think. And oh, more than a was, couple of years. Was, Many years. They, they love the taste. Of, they love the taste of it so much that he started serving it as just a um, a, a fountain treat. Yep. Well, it was a syrup. He yeah. created a syrup right. mixed with seltzer, right, and that became Coca Cola. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when when we hike in the in the high the high grounds of of the Sacred Valley down in, in Peru on the way to Machu Picchu, you're at such a high altitude. Everywhere you go, you walk in and there's a basket of these green leaves or coca leaves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. You, 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 you have that. to have the tea to acclimate to the Well, altitude. that tea, whatever that tea is called. Coca, um, coca tea. Yeah. <laughs> it, it has uh, cocaine. What you call it? The, the thing coca is leaf. that uh, Coca-Cola still to this day, or I think still uses coca leaves, but they're not the, the they're not the, they're the not, or whatever you want to call it. denatured or whatever, yeah. But they still are the number one users of cocaine, coca Co leaves in the world. Co oh, cocaine was removed from Coca-Cola in 1929. It, that late? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, interesting. I thought it was like, you know, a couple of years after Pemberton. Oh, no. <clears throat> and I don't uh, think Pemberton turned it into the commodity that it became because I think other people bought it from him. And then they turned it into this brand. And all. Well, I think he sold the syrup to distributors. Yeah. And the logo was the logo of the handwriting of his accountant who mm. wrote in Coca-Cola mm. in, the, in the ledger. And that's the way he wrote it. Well, what was nice is they kept that as their brand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they didn't update it or change it. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What about during New Coke? Did they change I was the logo? Say, in 1986, they did. Yeah. Well, they, they had they had two logos. There's one is the script logo, right? And the other is just Coke. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so it has two logos really that they use. Uh, and I think for the New Coke, it was like New Coke. Okay. You know, or it, they didn't even call it New Coke. They just changed the formulation. Right. That didn't last very long. They had a couple of variations. <laughs> I that didn't couldn't last. stand the new Coke. What? No. Nobody could. I couldn't no. stand the new Coke. No. And you could still get it for a few years after they went back to what they now call, they call classic, classic. Coke. Are they still calling it classic? I think so. Yeah, yeah I don't know. And then Coke Zero came along. And then there's a, a did you know there was a pickle flavored uh, Coca-Cola called Black Ugh. Coke? Uh. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I just thought that up. I'm uh. Sorry, folks, that I, that I. Sounds can't. terrible. I'm so glad to have contributed to this subject. I didn't know y'all were going to be so knowledgeable about cocaine. <laughs> You, have a band you got the Coke Museum there in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. I have been there. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you, uh, you spent a whole day there. Yeah, and you can go and you they have all this whole room that's just a hundred flavors of Coca Cola from all different countries. You got the different sizes, with different bottles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I have a whole bunch of bottles over here with our names on them when they were allowing you yeah. to buy them with your name printed on them. Uh, and so uh, we have two bottles. Marjorie, one says Alex, one that says Bolo, which was my nickname, and another one that says OK Mills, which is Marjorie's uh, uh, name online. So hmm. that was it. Well, I, 
I used to drink Coke like it was going out of style. Like I was a Pepsi uh, girl in, intravenously. Yeah, but I can't even. I can't even stand the way it tastes now. Like I don't even know how I. Are you talking drink about? You're talking about the 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 actual Coke without the like Coca Cola, not the yeah, diet, just, not the diet version. Without the no, Coke. just regular Coke, just regular Coke. I you used to have one worst? in the morning, one at ten a.m. You know, I drink it all day long. You, you know, know the caffeine worst, and nicotine. The, the worst diet yeah. product the Coke ever came out with was Tab. Tab. Yeah. That was the oh, first My grandmother one. drank that. My God. That was that the tasted, first. That tasted I used to drink like it. Warm over that was their first zero calorie. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Soft er, drink. Early yeah. 1960s, it was Tab. My, yeah. my grandmother used to no, drink I that. Know, that. I used to drink it. <laughs> but I know that my, <laughs> my friend Bob Goldthwaite years ago used to drink about two six packs of Tab every yeah. single day. Oh, wow. and one day he decided to stop and he went through the worst withdrawal symptoms. Yeah. His, his ears were ringing. I mean, he it was driving him crazy. But Tab, he, Tab he, was just discontinued in December. Was really? it really? When yeah, I was December of 2020. <laughs> crazy. What, what, yeah, but the, the Tab that they, they discontinued was a new version of Tab, which was more like. Uh, more like Diet Coke, huh? No, it was more like uh, what, what's that? What's that bowl? What, what's that? Uh, Red Bull. Energy Red Bull. It was kind oh, of like, uh, kind of like Red Alex, Bull. Alex, my dad, my dad drank a case of that stuff a day when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was working in a in a uh, on a project in Ball Ground, Georgia, up north of where Mandy is. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah, that is. You go into the the inglis or whatever the hell it was called ingles uh, supermarket and still buy tab just a few years ago and it was yeah. the same, it was the same stuff mm. and i would throw it in the car and when i would come and visit my father i'd give it to him and he'd go crazy oh my god i didn't know that stuff was little right i can get i can get 12 cans on amazon for 20 dollars 99 cents wow i'll send one to everybody we got to all of us here. That's perfect. Well, it was uh, I, uh, you know, I've gotten, uh, I've got, kind of gotten off Diet Coke. In fact, I've gotten off Snapple. I've got about six, case, three cases of Snapple and three cases of Diet Coke sitting there that I, you know, uh, haven't gotten into. And my little batch of Stewarts. Huh? And the little bits of Stewarts root beer. Oh, root beer. Oh. Yeah, I haven't been doing that either, and that's. Good I, I took my first one in months. Yeah. All yeah. I've got is holy water. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony can send you some. It works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but do you spend all week waiting for that to be able to use that? No. Or can it's you emerging. move around and it will stay with your back? <laughs> no, it's 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 fixed. Oh, I see. I see. You have to kind of be in place. I see. Okay. It's just a video with the green the green keyed out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Terrific. You know. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. Fun with green screens. We don't see yours. <laughs> well, I don't use mine on this show because it's over here, and I'd have to put it up. And you know, it's not no problem to put up. It's just a a thing I just pull up like this and put yeah. pull down. Did, you know. We did a web conference with three people in Europe, all of us sitting at the same table using. <laughs> Mm -hmm. but, but just just to show people out there watching what we mean by green screen oh so I, I go with this and i put the other three at the table with me and we had a conference and people didn't know we were in different continents uh, <laughs> wow yeah uh, wow, uh, just uh, do away with the green screen for a second yeah see that's what he's that's what he's doing right? yeah. the reason he's over to the side is because he has it masked out so he can have himself in there just right it's it's uh yeah, just the style. Like if you move your hand out like this, it'll disappear. The other one, the other one. Yeah, see? Yeah. There it goes. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Fun with green screens, folks. Yeah. Um, bounce around and make people nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you Look, did, you see the gold, did you see the Golden Globes announcement today? No. NBC. NBC will not air it next year. What? Yep. The, oh. What did they want, why? Because it did so the, badly this year. the lightness of the membership. Because <laughs> they're waiters. No. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Because of their 
they're not woke enough, I guess. Right. No, I, mean, lack, I read an article about the lack of diversity. There's not a white member of the Hollywood Foreign Press. There's not a white member? Well, not, not a black member, sorry. There's a reason for that because these are all European press people. Think, and there aren't yeah. many black people in the European press. And during the <laughs> off time, they were waiters. So that's the reason why NBC is getting rid of them, or just because it's so such a phony fuck award show that it's well, they're saying because their diversity doesn't meet <coughs> NBC standards. Oh yeah, like NBC <laughs> had diversity in their network for you. The, the worst was the the worst <laughs> words the, the Academy Awards. It I mean, was no, I, you know their idea oh. of diversity was Bill Cosby. Yeah, Cosby. Oh come on, you know. <laughs> But How's that allows, working for them? This allows them to be social justice warriors and back out of a show that's not going to get any ratings. It's going to be like the Oscars. Give them right. a lot of money. Right. Yeah. right. So they have this noble excuse just to bail out of this. So. My question is, how much do you go for diversity? I mean, yeah. what is, you yeah. know? You want to see something great on HBO, Michael Che, the guy that does the news. Good show. Yeah. You know? Good. He, he did a brilliant he's got a new comedy series yeah, I've seen first it. episode yeah addressing addressing the diversity thing mm -hmm. it's it's really good him I and that girl was, in the I elevator thought was, i thought it was yeah. i thought it was okay yeah yeah he, like, I, did through, I did you don't want to step on the punchline but going through the whole thing and then when they go to the gym afterwards <laughs> it's the perfect ending yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see Elon Musk on SNL? What do you think yeah. of that? That speak of diversity Right. What does he have? Uh, 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 Aspergers. Aspergers. Yeah. It, it to have. What did you say, yeah. Mandy? No, well, I just had a discussion with my coworker because her son is on the spectrum, the autistic yeah. Yeah. autism spectrum, and she just says that using that term is really just so outdated because oh. it it was actually just coined by the guy that coined it was a nazi apparently i don't know <laughs> people just no. don't um no. people people that have a personal you know connection to autism just don't prefer to use that word that well, they, is, what's instead of just high functioning he obviously has like, a personal connection to it he has it yeah has well, it. i know i know but it's just, no, she just, said it's there, there just folks, most people I I a lot of people. And there's folks that use the title to dismiss that they're an asshole <laughs> not everybody who but my, I have a nephew who's diagnosed and he absolutely from the diagnostic criteria is but and what they I did saw that he's the, nothing uh, like he's nothing like Elon Musk the Twitter warriors are trying to cancel Elon Musk because of this I saw that yeah. this morning yeah. saying that it stopped being called Asperger's I guess officially in 2013 hmm. yeah. what do they call the, it now the autism spectrum well song. but when he was when he was uh, uh, diagnosed with it it was called Asperger's. Asperger's Correct. is distinguished from autism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are different elements to Asperger's that, you know, are different from autism. But they, uh, since he was, you know, when he was younger, they said he had it. So that's what he's always believed he had. And that's what he was saying the other night, you know. And with Dan Aykroyd, he, he says that he has it. Yeah. And people got mad because Musk said he was the first host who had it. And then people say, no, Dan Aykroyd hosted in the 80s, and he had can I Can I say I something mean, about, 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 about Elon Musk? Because I saw a documentary on, it was on YouTube. It was just kind of the history of Elon Musk and what he's done. This guy, I think, when the book history books are written, is going to go down as one of the major people in getting us into space. Yeah, definitely. I think we are going to find we'll have, we'll have uh, space centers named after him. Uh, he will go down in the history books as having been probably the most important single person besides Werner von Braun. In other words, mm. the first non-Nazi uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, to, to have, have launched us into that, uh, uh, that new world. And the, you know, I'm just pissed that I'm not going to be here to see us land on Mars because mm. he's probably, his companies, he may not be here to see it happen, but his company will do it. I don't know. They're saying they want to do it in a few years. Very yeah. few years. So they you may be around to see he, it. He'd like to do it in a few years, but the, they're, they're arguing now. See, they, uh, the moon thing, he, they got the contract to go to the moon, okay, uh, which they could probably do now better than we did it when we originally did it, just simply because the technology is there, right? Yeah. Um, but all of a sudden, uh, what's his name? Amazon 
Uh, Bezos. Bezos, Bezos, yeah. Bezos put a crimp into the whole thing by appealing to the uh, the government sources or whatever that give out the money and everything to not give out the contract yet because they're protesting it because they want the contract. But <laughs> they're not as far ahead in the space program. That's right. As as right. as Amazon Plus, is. They're the, the Amazon guys, the blue. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Blue Horizon Very advanced. Yeah, I, I know people who work for them in the marketing and, and development. Yeah, but you say they're just as advanced as I don't. I, I don't know that there's a way to measure just as advanced. Well, they, I mean, their their focus be, their focus has been much more on the colonization side of it than the getting there, and it, they've done brilliant work. So it's not. Well, just, maybe, then they should probably cooperate with uh, yeah. with, with Musk. They probably know, are already on the colonization end. No, they're trying to screw Musk out of having the uh, the contract to go to the moon. Do you remember that little blip when it was going to be Richard Branson who was going to do all this? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what ever happened to him? I don't know. Uh, all he's he has, doing is he's still he, working on he, it too. If you want to, he's trying to get his thing going so that you can take a flight into space. Right. In, Virgin in, something or other. Virgin, Virgin Galactic. Galactic. <laughs> <laughs> And we, have Trump, we have Trump so Space Force. That's all we need. What, what did you say, Jackie? <laughs> no, I said Virgin Atlantic and Virgin Airways did so well. So right. Virgin, <laughs> Virgin yeah. America. Yeah. Virgin America. They yeah. couldn't even keep a record store open in my neighborhood. So. Right. <laughs> That's right. I have to call my cousin and ask him because he worked for Vaughn Von Brown. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And it was just almost a because he, he was in the army and, and uh, he graduated from uh, engineering. And they said, oh, we're gonna send you down to New Orleans or wherever it was. And that's, that's what he was. He had a guy he had to work for. By the way, wow. let's ask Mike Chisholm. Wow. How's the uh, Canadian space program going? <laughs> uh, I think the Canada arm is doing really, really well. And you guys like using that thing. You know what the Canada <laughs> yeah. arm is? Oh, uh, what is it? It's like the arm that came out of the space shuttle. Oh, yeah. it's called, yeah. it's called the now Canada. It's on, now it's on display in, in several museums. Yeah, I think so. yeah. 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 Uh, because uh, we're cheering you guys on like fucking crazy up here, though, man. We're just, go, you guys can do it. And the Chinese space program is just burning up. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, was, that was quite a. It, what, what Somebody do did do? not we do the math. Something up and it's going to come back. Do we have yeah. a way of exploding it? No, I don't. It, think so. uh, it fell into the Indian Ocean. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't do the math properly to either, you know, have it go into space and come down controllably, or to burn up immediately where they wanted it to. So, okay. yeah. And they've got ten more of these things to launch in the next few years. They don't so, seem to care, do they? No, they do not. <laughs> nope. And, and uh, oh, we blew up New York. Oh, well. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, look, I, I'm going to tell you scientifically, the chances that one of those rockets is going to hit uh, 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 people yeah. is uh, quite Alex should never know. No, I mean, 70% of the Earth is ocean to begin with, yeah. is water. Uh -huh. Okay, so there, they got a 70% chance right there of not hitting Earth. Yep. And then how much of the Earth is actually populated or has dense population areas, that's even less. So you get down to about a 1% chance, something like that. But you don't want to be the 1%. You want yeah, to be if, they hit something, if they hit something, Alex, they'll just make one of those cheap Chinese knockoffs and replace it. <laughs> <laughs> if they ever did hit something with a rocket like that, though, if they ever did hit a populated area, would that be considered an attack? No, I think like though, it. it would be considered actionable, though. You mm -hmm. certainly could try and sue uh, the yeah. Chinese government over that, you know. And what court do you take that to? Yeah. <laughs> the space court. Mm. Hey, I don't know. Yeah, mm. that's right. Right. It, 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 well, actually, we'll report them to the space force. Right. We've got the yeah. space force. <laughs> get yeah. space. By the way, what's happening oh. with the space force? Is it still in force? It so is. Far? It is. Yeah, I believe so. Really? I think he. I think Biden decided not to not to stop it. I think. I think he's waiting. It's such a low priority, and he doesn't that he doesn't want to look like well, he's being a. Where's the academy for the space force? <laughs> <laughs> well, they they have to build it in space first, you know. Done Tatooine. 
Back it's over in Lucas and Brand. You know where I would put the Space Force? Where would you put the Space Force? Where logically should the Space Force headquarters be? In the in Florida. 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 No. Hey, Lucas Valley. It's a no. ranch. No. Uranus? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't fit. <laughs> uh, I meant the planet. I don't know what you thought I said. No, here, here's where I think. Where in Star Trek, it basically is San Francisco, oh. across from the gold, uh, across uh, the, in oh, Ring yeah. County. That's right. Across from the, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge. Why not? Well, that's Lucas Valley, where the ranch well, is. Well, no, you you're know. not going that far out. You, it's along the water. If you watch Star Trek, yeah. you don't watch Star Trek that much, do you, Shecky? You're busy watching never those films from 1918. What? I have I, never seen an episode of Star Trek. Wow. By the way, he oh, turned me on. He, he, okay. turned me onto a great film the other night. Um, uh, the whistle at a whistle at Eaton Falls. The wh whistle at Eaton Falls. Hmm. I never. A, a, a interesting film. When was it made? It was made in 1951. 51, yeah, and it's it's really about union and management. Couldn't, is that the best way to describe it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's, it's about a, it's the northeast when basically factories were closing because they couldn't make money. Yeah, and uh, this is all about a guy who is a union steward who is made. Well, the he was the president of the union. Yeah, who was put in charge of the factory when the pre head of the factory died in a plane crash. Yeah. And now he's kind of having to deal as management with his own union and try and solve the problem from both sides. Mm -hmm. And it was pla it was about plastics. About plastics, yeah. Um, but it, it for, for its time wasn't it, it must have been considered a fairly radical picture. Yeah, it was one of those Louis de Rochemont pictures. You you barely remember him. He made all those films in the late forties, early fifties that were those kind of semi-documentary films yeah yeah and he also did some a cinerama film i think too if i'm not mistaken i don't know about that yeah but one of them was a louis de rochemont film yeah uh but it, it's a kind of an, it's on uh, tcm if you get a chance it's on watch tcm at the moment yeah it's called the whistle at eaton falls it, it, oh, I, I didn't know whether to like it or to hate it uh, or to just not and then i after i watched I, I watched the whole thing and i really liked it you know, where did it? Uh, did it's kind it of a like patent ending, of course. Connecticut, you know. For some reason. What'd you say, Jeff? Was it? Was it look? Did it look like it was in Connecticut? In a fact, I think it was. I think it was filmed in New Hampshire or somewhere okay, else in that area. Yeah, and it starred uh, Lloyd uh, Bridges. Lloyd Bridges oh. and Dorothy Gish. Dorothy Gish, as the wife. Uh, and uh, uh, who else? Uh, uh, was, I uh, am... uh, uh, what what's her name? Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh well. Anyway, it's a good movie. Thank you for turning me on to it. Yeah. You know, it's a very rare picture. Yeah. Well, it's been restored. That was part of the thing. The Library of Congress. Yeah. Restored. It went back to restore it. Is it considered one of the ones that the uh, Library of Congress wants to preserve? <laughs> well, it's been released on home video by Flickr Alley. So yeah, but I mean, it, but is, you know, there were a bunch, a bunch of films they come out with every year that, that are films that it have. Might be, it might be on that bullshit list they make every year. Why do you say it's a bullshit list? Have you ever looked at the list? <laughs> totally random. It's a totally <laughs> random collection of movies. Well, you know, I mean, the fact that Kiss and Cousins by Elvis Presley got on it shouldn't turn you <laughs> off. <laughs> 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 I, I, that'd be great a list of the 10 greatest elvis presley films of all time i think i'll put that up on on youtube and say you know the 10 greatest elvis presley films and just start it off by saying there are none king creole's a good film king creole's a good film and uh was there any other film jailhouse rock isn't terrible yeah how many movies did Elvis make? A lot. Like oh, 30. He made, like 30. Oh, he made every one every week. Yeah, you know. 30 something. I mean, you know, the current the colonel needed wanted money. So Elvis made a lot of movies. 
Yeah, yeah. The, the guy who hey, I grew up on Elvis Presley movies. You grew up on Elvis Presley movies? Well, that explains it all, Charlie. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like travelogues, nice technicolor, you know, songs, pretty girls. Stupid Gor- yeah, they had gorgeous women. In them. Yeah, they had gorgeous women. Yeah, but they had such just nothing plots. <laughs> but know? that's not why they were made. Right. He sings eight, ten songs. Yeah. Well, well, he's in Hawaii. Married- it's, not, it's like a Bob Hope, you know, road picture. Oh, we're in Morocco this week. Oh, we're here. Oh, yeah. Well, I like in porn films to Elvis Presley films in this respect. <laughs> The Elvis Presley films, they said, we have 10 songs, let's write a script around them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and in porn, they say, we have 10 sex acts, let's write a film around it. <laughs> Basically. I mean, you're letting the film being di- be dictated by, by something that has nothing to do with the film. Because people just want to hear the guy sing. Yeah, yeah. but I'm seeing so such a crap on. by that time. Those, the mo- songs in those movies became such junk. Yeah, Blue Hawaii, some of those yeah. films. Here, like comes, somebody, era, here comes somebody called Armenda Day. Let's see if this person is for real. Are you, are, are you there, Armenda? Still connecting. Armenda, are you there? She's on the debate team. Are you... Okay, let me see here. <laughs> uh, uh, hide. Uh, let's see. Put in waiting room. Okay. Making okay. me long for music, Mike. Right. Huh? <laughs> I was looking forward to hearing that. Well, whenever I see names like that, they don't seem real. Yeah. You know, and you go, why? Uh, I better not take a chance on them. But. You know, I can if as soon as I find that they they aren't legit, I get rid of them. As soon as did I all of the Elvis my name. What did you say? I have a Mandy? question about Elvis movies. Wait a minute, Mandy said something. What Mandy? Oh, yeah, I just, it was Amanda. It's a. Oh, huh? I just changed it from Mandy's iPhone to oh. Mandy O'Brien. Oh, you were Amanda. <laughs> no, I was just Mandy's iPhone. Oh, Mandy Remember? iPhone. <laughs> Remember Mandy's iPhone? Oh, oh, that yes, was my, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, I fixed yes, that today. Yes, yes, Mike. No, no, no. Just uh, did he always have a new catalog of music for each movie, or did he recycle yeah. some of the other songs that yeah, he had? There's a soundtrack album for every movie, and they're yeah. all new compositions. Yeah, and, I, and that's I, one of the reasons you saw the movie to see the, the new songs. songs. Yeah, yeah, but that was in the beginning. After a while, they they became the songs became so terrible. I mean, they were just nothing songs. And I don't know about that. You know, it wasn't until you got around to the later pictures. Hey, he's the king. Where they did the what? documentary <laughs> on him. But, you know, the songs got better. What do you mean he's the king? I Elvis thought... Presley's the king. I'm sorry. <laughs> Elvis I... Presley was great when he was at Sun Records. Okay? Well, and... Alex, as you know, we have a picture of us at Graceland. Yes, we do. <laughs> you don't I think one favorite. Been living okay. room is car it's carpeted, shag carpeted. If I remember oh, oh, right. uh, it. If you've never been to Graceland, it's great, it's fun. Uh, it is the biggest. I've been there. The po- repository of bad taste <laughs> that I've Chris ever Street. seen in my life. Oh, Worse than John Waters' house. I mean, the jungle room with leopard skin wallpaper. Come on. Did you and know- across the street, all those sellers say uh, selling trinkets. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, of course. But did you, well, did you do the whole tour of the plane and the cars and everything? Yes, absolutely. Oh, we did the whole thing. But then we went to Sun Records. It was a tiny and that little was little. a great tour. Great. Oh, you know what was better? You remember well, Jude Hospital? Well, we, of course Thomas we went to we went to room? we went to uh, St. Jude's Hospital because we wanted to see the Danny Thomas crypt. <laughs> <laughs> He's buried there. I thought you wanted to see the coffee table. Uh, well, he was buried there under a coffee table. <laughs> but no, you remember the dining room with the um, Last Supper as the giant picture behind the dining room table. Oh, so you want to? I, I did not remember that. Oh, dining room. Oh, table. yeah. 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 But um, I, you know, I had this friend of mine who used to work for Danny Thomas. Really? And she got a job writing. For the Dan- last Danny Thomas show he ever did, I can't remember what the name was. He played the doctor. practice, the practice, the yeah. practice. And she had to go into his office one day and meet with him. And so she was waiting to see him. 
and sitting in front of her is a glass coffee table. <laughs> she said she just got up and walked out. You know, you know, everybody knows that rumor, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will I get sued if I say what the rumor was? <laughs> well, He's been dead for 25 years. He, or the rumor so. is he used to like to hire hookers to take a dump on a glass coffee table <laughs> while he laid under it. Oh, not so bad. Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> Napoleon had that same, that same rumor. That he supposedly made them eat cherry tarts and do it on him. Yeah. Oh, you really? Know that, like that as well as James Joyce. Well, it's, amazing. <laughs> it's amazing what you'll do with power, you know? You want to waste of time. Well, but, did you read in the last day or so that Melinda Gates? was looking into divorcing Bill Gates because he was tied up with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Was that why? I never saw a reason why. It's unconfirmed, but there's a they were reporting that, yeah. I thought yeah. it was another woman. Well, he also had another woman that he was allowed to take like a three-week vacation with. Yes. Well, if it was with what Epstein, he was allowed to take a three-week vacation. He it would say to her, I'm going on three weeks with so and so. When they got married, it was like, I'm still friends with Marjorie Miller and we go away on vacation. So if you want to get married to me, you got to really me and Marjorie go up I, 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 I didn't figure Bill Gates as a player. Right. And mm. if it was with, with that much money, you're a player. If it was with Epstein, it wouldn't be another woman, right? It would be another 12 year old. Right. <laughs> I figured he just perfected the real doll with technology and that was it. <laughs> you know i mean i just i just never figured it, you know I, i'm i was figuring when i heard they were getting divorced i figured maybe she had some guy she was seeing that she wanted to get serious with or something like that you know but now it appears it may have actually been something he did because the kids won't talk to him well or, that's it and it's been going on for a while yeah well uh, and he was on that airplane whatever it's called you know bumming free rides to florida with Epstein. Oh, yep. really? Because he can barely afford it. Oh, look, my friend Bobby Slayton used to come to New York and he had a friend who put him up in a, in a, in a uh, apartment that he had in this building that he owned. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when Epstein got arrested, he called me and said, well, there goes my free rent in New York. <laughs> oh, shit. He was staying at Jeffrey yeah. Epstein's. He, he knew Jeffrey. You know. Wow. He, I said, did you see, did you, could you figure that anything else was going on? And he said, never had a hint of it. He said, that's the funny part. You mm -hmm. wouldn't have known. He said he was a little on the shy side, you know. Um, that was a 14-year-old. He wasn't. <laughs> well, I mean, apparently, you know, this was going on, but a lot of the people around him did not know it. So it's conceivable that a Bill Gates was just... You know, uh, taking a free plane ride. Well, Epstein used to uh, cozy up to a lot of important people. Okay. Sure. And so sure. it, it's only logical that he would cozy up to Bill Gates and say, hey, you want to ride my airplane? And that there's a whole bunch of people like Bobby who never knew that anything was going on, never smelled anything going on. Um, it wasn't good, however, that Woody Allen, it was known that Woody Allen hung out because how did. How did Bobby get to know Epstein? Mm -hmm. Through Woody Allen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that Woody was doing it. You know, I mean, it, you can't, the guilt by association is ridiculous here. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, he lived two lives, and he, one of which was one in which he liked to cozy up to famous people. You know, so. Well, that's how he got a lot of his money by cozying up to famous people. Because exactly. he was like a public school teacher in Queens when yeah, he started that's out. Right. Yeah. And all of a sudden he was a stockbroker. And all mm. of a sudden he was handling that guy's money from Kansas, I think, the one that bought him his ranch. The wealthy guy. Um, not, not, what's his, not, what, not Omaha. What's his name in Omaha? I forget what, what state. But he paid for his ranch. Whose ranch? He was advising him financially. Who? That wealthy, wealthy was guy. Was advising that, who? Epstein? Yeah. Epstein was Epstein advising, was advising him. him. Oh, advising yeah. him. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. 
it, it turns out Epstein wasn't that wealthy that, you know, that he simply put on. Well, he had a nice townhouse and he had a nice place in the Bahamas, wherever it was. Yeah, so, really. Yeah. His own island. The property he had his own island. island. I forget, where did he make his money from now? We've almost forgotten that. As a, quote, financial advisor. Financial yeah. advisor. Well, that wealthy guy. Kind of like and Bernie Madoff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So did you see the other big thing? What? Andrew Cuomo is, is not Andrew Cuomo. Giuliani's son is thinking of running for governor of New York. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah. And the reason is because dad has such a great reputation. I don't know. He's got an advisory committee and he's going to make an announcement. What I love is what goes on out in California. <laughs> but when are they oh, going to yeah. learn this is not a good idea? Um, uh, uh, Len, yeah. uh, you know. I don't think I'd move back. You to should Europe. see the uh, the commercials that the Republican guy who who wants a Newsom spot is running. He's got a five hundred pound grizzly bear, and he's calling himself the bear, and he's yeah. calling Newsom the pretty boy, and he's got a bird going pretty boy, pretty boy. It's like, oh shit! <laughs> I mean, this is it's ridiculous. Well, Newsom announced today the largest tax cut for a state in history. And new stimulus. I wonder why. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Anybody Wait making under 75 grand getting another 600 bucks from news now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the state's broke, isn't it? it yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. We're in an epic drought. There's no water in, in anywhere. I mean, they're showing all the reservoirs dried up. It didn't rain at all this year. So we're boned. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, you know, I mean, and just, and de Blasio got rid of his wife's phony charity. It's now a city organization. <laughs> but how this whole thing works out in California is they hold the recall vote. And then if you vote to recall him on the same ballot are the people who are running for governor. And there will be a hundred. There will be a hundred of them. And the only person yeah. that wins is the one who gets the most votes, who can, right. yeah, gets 10 votes, you know, because there are a hundred other people. Right. So you don't wind up with the best person possible, and you probably won't wind up with somebody who resents having a dick. Okay. Well, I, Caitlyn I, Jenner is getting money from Trump. Yeah. yeah. What, oh, you had your hand up, Scott? Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering, how do you get on this ballot? Do you have to have so many signatures? No, or something it's or? very easy. I think it's $3,400 or $4,300 and 50 signatures. Or, you know, a thousand signatures. I forget what. And it is. no money. It, yeah. It's money very, it's very easy to get on the ballot. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. That's just why the last time, the last time Arnold Schwarzenegger won over yeah. uh, um, Gary, uh, who was it? Gary Coleman? Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who did they throw out though? Over Gary Ray Coleman Davis. and the porn, actress, the porn actors came in fourth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. He did what in fourth? And the fact is that the only people that will be running are Dem are Republicans. So the only person that could possibly <coughs> become governor would be a Republican if Newsom gets recall. Get what I'm saying? Because there's no Democrat who wants to go up, put his name in there to go up against Newsom. So it, it's, it's, it's just, it's a bad idea and California should do away with it. And it's yeah. going to cost like four hundred million dollars for that too. Yeah, wow. it's a waste of money. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, and all for eating at the French Laundry. Go figure. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, that's, expensive meal. So, <laughs> any last things to say? We got about a minute left. Uh, Mandy, you got anything you wanna wanna say? It's always nice having you here, Shecky. Anything that you wanna say? No. No, very <laughs> copacetic. Scott, Scott Potiker. I'm good. I'm good. I've talked too much already to this show. You drink, no, by the way, do you drink during this show? No, I drank before. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you so much. Always enjoy having you on both shows because you're just a delight to have around. Uh, Andrew Deutsch out there in Cleveland. Hmm. Terrific and great green screen work. Uh, also, uh, Len LaFrisco, very nice. There in the 
in the front seat of your plane. Yes, I wish. <laughs> Steve Bender, nice to see you again. Now, we, now this is kind of getting easier. We should get together. Okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Like, actually, I'll, for Mother's I'm Day, just down the street, and I'm coming out to see Shecky, I think, soon. Really? Well, you know what I'm doing Thursday? I'm going to Ben's Deli out on 38th Street for really? lunch. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I'd have to come during the weekend, I guess. But they closed down our favorite sushi place, so that's, that's yeah. There. Yeah. Um, Marjorie Miller, I'll see you again next week. See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike Chisholm, always nice seeing you here. Uh, Love being I, here, gang. Thanks so much. Everybody should wave goodbye, and I will wave goodbye with you. Okay. Ladies Bye. Bye. Alex yeah. is not waving. Yeah, thank you. Have a good week, everybody. You too.